Hello everybody, I'm Palkifan08 and welcome back to Let's Play Tales of Fantasia. Last time we got the Sword of Flame. And today, oh boy. Let's fight this optional boss. Now, there's a lot of different tactics you can use against him. I will first show you, or not tactics, but equipment, I guess. I will first show you with my regular equipment. But, okay, make sure you don't have a we elemental weapon equipped, or else you will really regret it. So I'm going to use the Muramasa. And I can take take away the Ice Charm now, and let's see. Let's take a Stun Charm on, it's going to help a lot. Anyway, do you remember this room? It looks pretty familiar, won't you say? But, huh, okay, a statue. Is that... Is that the statue of that Odin, of that Odin that Valkyrie talked about? Well, maybe it is. Great and mighty one, I welcome you to my sanctuary. Whoa, what the? Uh, okay. Ooh, treasure. Oh, okay. This room looks awesome. I first time I saw this room, I just thought, wow. Oh, this is a room I really would visit just to see. It. Mighty one, I welcome you. I am Odin. Oh, shit. Odin? Do you have the courage to demonstrate your power? Uh, yes, I do. Then, do you have the courage to face me alone in battle? Uh, sure. Then show me. As you wish. And... Okay, Fighting the Spirits is playing. Awesome. Okay, this is Odin. Oh boy. The first real challenging optional boss in the game. Or, it's like, is kind of the first optional boss that I fought at all. <laughs> okay. Now, this guy is tough. I'm not gonna lie. I will most likely not be able to defeat him. But I'm gonna try. But there's other ways you can do it to pretty much assure that you win. He can be made into a complete wimp with the correct item or equipment setup. But I'm gonna try without it. For now at least. Maybe I'll do it. Maybe I'll make it. Maybe not. Now, all his... Ow, ow, ow. His attack element is light, so all his attacks are light elemental, but he also got some magic, which is very powerful because he can cast it as good as instantly. Ow! Plus, use the. Thank you. Ow! Oh shit, I'm stunned. Okay, I might be dead now. If he stuns you, he might just kill you pretty easily. <laughs> So, if you're stunned, don't... don't... Whoa, 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 okay, thank you. He can cast Indignation and God, God's Breath on you, so... Uh, yeah, be careful. Well, we're doing okay, I guess. I'm just thankful for the Fairy Ring, or else this Dimensional Divide would really eat my TP. <laughs> but okay, ow! Oh crap, oh shit, oh no. Okay, I'm just gonna use a uh, mixed gummy right now, because he's gonna get that spell off. Ow! It's gonna hurt. Ow, okay, thank you. Haha! -ha. Okay, attack me, thank you. So that's pretty much the whole battle, just defend against all his attacks and be careful. Oh! Well, he really went easy on me there. <laughs> Just ouch! Shit, don't. Okay, thank you. Who didn't stun me? That's good. Now this is a little cheap, but really, uh, if I played fair, this guy would own me. Oh crap! Yeah, I'm dead. Ah, yeah. I was doing good though. Oh well, too bad. <laughs> Now, you don't get a game over, though, when you lose, thankfully. He, he lost! What do we do now? Are you alright, class? He's too powerful. 
The problem is that you're too weak. You must set out once again on the eternal path of training. Shit. Oh man. I was doing good. Now, oh, okay, as I said, no game over. We just get teleported back out here. Well, it's kind of good that I lost too, though. I can show you the cheap way to doing this. Let's see, where are my... No. Ah, screw it. Let's just use... Uh, what the heck? Where's my order? Oh, <laughs> I had the pointer on it. Okay, do you remember my setup for my mages against Daos? Yeah, we're gonna use that one again here. So, if we can find what, two reflect rings. Like this. And... Uh, Mitral Mesh, since Kles for some reason can actually equip it. And all of Odin's attacks are light elemental. So he barely will be able to even hurt me. Of course, his magic will still hurt me, but but still, I mean, this is good. I just have to check one more time. Yeah, yeah, we're good to go. Okay, let's go. Yeah, it's the same. Oh, have you returned with new confidence? I didn't know he said something new. Huh. Then let me ask you once again. Do you have the courage to demonstrate your power? Yes. Then do you have the courage to face me alone in battle? Yes. Then show me. As you wish. Let's go. And no, even though he do have the fighting the spirit theme, he will not join us as a spirit. Even though that would be very cool. <laughs> but no, no such luck. Now, we're not completely immune to his attacks, but... Uh, he will rarely do damage. Ow! Ow, okay, like that. <laughs> that hurt. So, it's pretty much the same deal. Just continue spamming him. With Thunderclaw and Dimensional Divide. That's the way that- Oh, crap! That I found was worked the best, so... Let's just... Spam, spam, spam! Wahaha! <laughs> Who said spammers never win? Yeah. Sucker. Now, there's actually an even easier way later in the game. But, uh, yeah, when you get a, a certain accessory later that will let you, together with the reflex armor that we have equipped now. Oh, and of course my TP goes down insanely fast now since I don't have my fairy ring equipped, but yeah. With the Reflect Ring and that accessory, Odin can't do anything at all against you. Even his spell will get negated. So, I find that way, way too broken. So, plus, when you can do that, the what you get here will really be nothing special at all. So, yeah. I prefer doing it here just because the reward for beating Odin is very good. So let's continue on. He should be close to dying, I think. I hope. <laughs> okay, let's just use another orange gummy. Boom. Yeah, this is kind of cheating though. I wish I could beat beaten him on my first try, that would be pretty sweet, but... Oh well. And why the heck do those flare bottles run out that fast? I don't remember them running out that incredibly fast. Annoying. Oh well. And he is down, everybody. Awesome. We beat Odin. We just beat a god. I am now the new god. The right to be god? That right is now mine, or whatever he says. I don't know. Anyway, we beat him, yay! Ugh. Well done. You have proven yourself worthy of the Spear of the Gods. Wait, Spear of the Gods? We already have had that one. Hey, it's Valkyrie! What did you get here? I'm talking to Pegasus's butt, apparently. Oh well. Greetings! It has been a while, yes? I truly enjoyed watching you do battle. 
If the Spear of the Gods, Gugnir, is with you, I know it will be in good hands. Thank you. The Gugnir is stored within the blue chest. But please, claim what is in the red chest first. Now then, if you'll excuse me. And she's gone. Yeah, she's not kidding. When you open when you open the blue chest, you will be teleported out of here, so make sure to open this one first. The Statue of Justice. And this one for we get the Gugnir once again. As you forge a path to the future. Following what you believe in, let that spear clear the way for you. This is farewell. Until the day that death calls you home, we shall not meet again. That's fine. We can go in there again, but the statue won't teleport us back to his sanctuary. So, we got the Gugnir, or the true Gugnir. The full unleashed power of the legendary spear used during Ragnarok. As you can see, it is insanely good. The thrust is massive. Yes, it will give Kles an enormous amount of thrust power. Yes, I did that on purpose. Yes, I am just that that immature. Surprised? You really shouldn't be. <laughs> anyway, let's see. Let's put our old equipment back on. And we are good to go. When I can find my equipment, that is. Fairing and... Yeah, you know what, screw it. Now, there's... We can just go to and see origin now in the tree and forest but there's one more thing though well it's on the way though so it's no biggie that I haven't done yet and that is the cave of ordeals and I'll be honest with you guys I am not looking forward to it it is not fun at all but I have to do it I mean I am gonna show you pretty much almost everything in this game, so I have to show you the Cave of Ordeals. So I'll meet you all back in the Ninja Village. Okay, we are back in the Ninja Village. Now let's just go to the well and hope for the best. <laughs> Alright, our Susu one. Let's see, yeah, let's give her some equipment, shall we? Now a lot of people say that you should really equip the technical ring here, but to be honest, I don't really like it. So I'm gonna give her... Wait, what, what was I thinking about again? Uh, oh my god, brain fart! No! She needs a fairy ring, that's for sure. And let's see, oh yeah, Black Onyx. And just let me heal her up. There we go. Cause Susu really doesn't have that much HP and she needs it down here. And make sure you're f stocked up on items. Because this is gonna be tough. We climb down with, with the rope. Yeah. This rope, the rope that we got in the beginning of the game is... Proving itself to be pretty helpful. <laughs> okay. I like the music in here. Very ninja-esque. Okay. Beyond here wait five ordeals. Only a shadow may enter. Yeah. Of course. I will return soon. Be careful. From this point on, Susu must fight alone. Oh boy. Ahead, the ninja of ordeal await. As you fight your way toward the end, keep in mind, there will be five battles in total. Yep. Although a loss will not result in a game over, be aware that losing will revive the ninja of the ordeal. Yeah, if you lose, you will have to start all over again, of course. Further, you should... Should you leave the cave before the ordeals are complete, that will also revive the ninja of the ordeal. Yeah. You must be able to endure five consecutive battles to reach the end. Okay, this is gonna be tough. The one that undertakes the ordeals will be asked five questions. The questions are challenging, but never lose sight of yourself. Whether you you live as a person or live as a shinobi, always follow your heart. Okay. Now let's equip some skills on her. Replication is a good skill, but not in here, because I will pretty much be spamming her skills. 
and when you use replication you cannot use skills. So Red Spider Lily, Thunderbolt, Whirlwind and Red Spider, Spider Lily again. Okay, let's just go. This is gonna suck. And I really like Susu's running animation. Once again, very ninja-esque. <laughs> okay, what does it say here? Anger, to know it's... It is to sacrifice calm the judgment. Okay. Okay, our first opponent. Answer this. Target that you must eliminate has a child. Will you eliminate the child along with the target? Well, that's kind of harsh, but yeah. Allowing the child to live will only increase the chance of future incidents. Very well. Show me proof of that conviction. Okay. Oh boy, this is gonna suck big time. Kuske is our first opponent. He got 5000 HP. I'm gonna use a flare bottle and hope for the best. Now, this first guy is of course very easy. Just pretty much just spam red spider lily on him. And you will be able to win. No problem. But of course, it's not gonna be that easy all the way. And if you are very if it's very important to you to, you know, complete the monster book, make sure to use spectacles on all five of these guys. Magnificent. And he just disappears. Okay. Oh boy. Alrighty, let's move on. What does this one say? Sorrow. To know it to know it is to sacrifice your strength. Okay. Whatever. Answer this. Your lord orders you to betray one of your comrades. You are to slay him. Will you carry out this order? Uh, yes. My lord's orders are absolute. Even if it means betraying a comrade, such is the way of the shinobi. Very well. Show me proof of that conviction. Yeah. So, we have to fight five of these guys. This is Jim Parchi. He got 10,000 HP. So, we're already moving up here. So, just pretty much just guard and spam your skills. This is pretty much what I like to do. Thunderbolt and then Red Spire Lily. That is my strategy pretty much in this place. But of course sometimes the Thunderbolt doesn't really work. But yeah, it's the same all the time. So I will just... I, I will speed up this part because this will get annoying and really repetitive and boring really, really fast. So... Yeah, I'm gonna speed up now.
My God, that was hell! Oh my God! I won! I wasted a lot of uh, hourglasses, but I don't freaking care. I won! Magnificent. Oh God! That wasn't fun at all. Alright, is it done? Oh, thank you, thank you, thank you! Oh, this is... Holy! This letter! It's his father's handwriting! If you're reading this, you must have safely overcome the ordeals. Yes, I have, but my god! It seems there is nothing more to teach you about the way of the Shinobi. However, as you are now, you still suffer from one major deficiency. When you discover what it is, then and only then will you possess that it takes to lead the clan. In the other chest you will find a weapon. Take it and use it to grow strong in body and mind. The way of the ninja is unforgiving. Oh, that is not a lie, that's for sure. And we get the Ninto Koroyuri, I guess. Which is a very good weapon. Father, mother. Hmm. Oh, by the way, that last question was a douche. Ordeals completed. Oh yeah, awesome pose. And Susu get experience through the completion of the ordeals. No, sl no level apparently. And she get the title of Shinobi. Awesome. Now let's see, check out that weapon, shall we? See, it is very, very strong. Unfortunately though, it's Dark Elemental. And that's the other problem with Suzu's weapons. Some of, if they're not, ver they're very weak, or they're kind of weak. And her strongest weapons are Dark Elemental, which is not good. But, uh, oh well, I mean, her skills are elemental, so it doesn't really matter. But God, that guy kicked my ass. Ugh. There's no single correct answer. Okay, yeah, yeah. And by the way, that note it will change after what you uh, choose on the or your answer on the questions. So it's it won't be the same if you take if you chose something else. So yeah, let's just get the heck out of here and never ever look back. Oh. God, I hate Sasuke, Sasuke ninjas now, even more than before. Susu! Huh, did you make it through safely? Yeah, barely. Yes, we're finished here. Alright then, let's go. Yeah. Holy heck! Uh, oh well. Yay, I made it. I'm gonna go to the hot spring now and chill. So, yeah, next time we will go and meet up with Origin, and hopefully he can help us. So, until then, I'm Palkefano8, I thank you all for watching, and I see you all later. I really hope you enjoy watching me fail that, because it was hell.